So um, I decided, uh, sorry, I, I'm taking one of my songs and reading some information. Um, I'm going to do it very fast. I've been out for 30, almost 30 years as transgender. I have, <laughs> I have been into rock and roll, out in rock and roll as transgender for 28 years. It was a different world back then when I came out. The cross-dressing laws were across all of the nations, so everything that I did as a trans person was illegal. 1993, the, uh, Minnesota did the Human Rights Act, uh, and they included transgender. That was the first time in the nation that that happened. In 1995, I was on jury duty and I was kicked off by a ruling which ruled that I was not a protected class and therefore I could be assumed to be biased in favor of child molestation. When the press got a hold of that and interviewed me, they weren't interested in how that conflicted with the 1993 Human Rights Act. They were only interested in how bizarre it was that a trans person was trying to do their duty and going to jury duty. I've toured the US and I've toured overseas, but I've had to self-finance that because the music industry didn't know how to deal with a trans person. And we self-financed that, me and my spouse of 34 years out here. Um, I also learned how to self-dehydrate myself so that I could avoid bathroom stops while I drove across the country for eight, maybe ten hours if I do it right. And I do this still today because I am more nervous now about using the public washrooms than I was before because of the political atmosphere with trans people presently. Um, that um, Self-financing resulted in a, an attack from an audit from the Minnesota Department of Revenue where my auditor othered me by saying that I was a big transgender rock star and he was just a white suburban guy. But what he did is he accused me of pretending to be an artist and getting tax refunds undeservedly because of that. It took me two years and hiring a lawyer on $12,000, which I got in donations from individuals to win that, and I did win. I researched the life expectancy of trans people. For regular Americans, it is 78. For trans people, it is 30 to 35 years. That is because of violence, against my community because of medical issues through transition, because so many of us are underground in our transition and it's also not really understood completely yet, and suicide. In the mid-2000s, I lost my salesperson because she shot herself, because she had a horrible divorce and she lost the custody of her three kids. We talked about her suicidal feelings. I've been suicidal before. I didn't take it seriously. I am still guilty about that. Two years ago, I saw a suicide note on Facebook. One of my fans, I have 5,000 people, I don't know them all, I didn't know this person, but I did not want to see somebody who is trans, who might be killing themselves, and I didn't do anything. So what I did is I called 911 near midnight, I had to self self-advocate for myself because my voice sounds male. I didn't want, I didn't want myself to be mis misgendered, but I also didn't want her to be misgendered, so I self-advocated for her as well. We were able to connect through 911s all the way to the East Coast city where she lived. From what I found on Facebook, they found her name, they were able to call her, and they did stop that, and we are now friends. In 2014, I was able to tour with Laura Jane Grace and Against Me, and I saw what happens when the music industry accepts people who are trans. And I was able to see all of these trans kids in the audience with, with parents that were my age, some parents younger than me. And I would stand with them in my corset and my fishnets and my stilettos because I I had to prove that I was trans when I was in rock and roll. Laura doesn't have to do that. And I saw these kids and they were so hungry for role models. And it was so moving to me that I was seeing this in my lifetime. I'd never thought I would see this.
In 2000, in 2015, President Obama used transgender in the State of the Union address. That was the first time anybody in government acknowledged trans people. In 2016, he overturned the ban on trans people in the military. And my, my salesperson who shot herself, she was in the military previous. My current second uh, guitarist, a trans woman, is also, was also in the military. Last month, President Trump reestablished the ban. And he also used othering language to, to vilify trans people and to say that trans people would want to undeservedly take tax money to finance their transition costs. So what I want to say is that we can make a difference individually on stage as a rock and roll person, and we can also do it with one phone call. Take my hand Take my shoulder I understand I can hold you I know you can You're something bolder There is no plan and it's getting colder Oh my brother See my sister there are no others There is no difference I could be you You could be me We struggle onwards Desperately Make me breathe. Make 
Make me feel you Make me grieve